There, there's a, a huge presence of the Catholic Church in HIV uh, AIDS and in support particularly for people who live with HIV AIDS. I inherited it when I went to Dublin, one of the few centres for HIV AIDS people and uh, it, it's sub supported by the church. We gave them a very substantial building and I uh, intend to ensure that it's kept in good shape. Uh, and it's, um, uh, it's a focal point where people can come where they can be get get advice, where they can get a little bit of solidarity. Uh, many people with HIV/AIDS still live um, an isolated life, a lonely life, uh, and they have to face maybe even death. Thank God, we have less often than in the past, um, without the support that a person would normally want on an occasion like that. And it takes a lot of time and effort to. Uh, to, be, to be with people. The fundamental thing I, I, I think that the church should be doing is simply um, reminding uh, people, reminding the church itself, that people who live with AIDS are fundamentally human beings, people. They have all the emotions that we have, and they have all the needs of support that we have, um, we have all the anxieties about life that we have, plus, plus, plus. Uh, and um, one has to first of all be, be with them and also transmit that message to others uh, that um, there's no reason why there should be stigma attached to HIV AIDS. Anybody when they're told they've got HIV AIDS must feel that they, 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 this fear. So you, you overcome that by, by um, holding people by the hand uh, and um, uh, you know, that's the, uh, the other way uh, to overcome uh, stigma is for the church to be seen holding hands with people and not being afraid of holding hands with people and uh, having the, having the uh, n not putting people with HIVs into a, a, a special category. As I said, they're, they're human beings with all the talents and abilities of human beings and we have to, to, to treat them like that as brothers and sisters. You should look on a person who lives with HIV AIDS as somebody who lives with any other difficulty in their life and that the fundamental Christian teaching is that everyone is created in God's image and likeness and everyone has the right to live their life uh, fully uh, to the highest degree possible for as long as it's possible to do that. Empowering women uh, is, is, is always a, a very uh, strong thing to happen in a community and uh, in many ways um, uh, religious sisters uh, are a remarkable group of people. When you get some of these nuns who are really strong personalities, uh, they, they have a way of entering into the lives of other women, which uh, the, you know, the other leaders in the church don't have. Uh, and some of these are very, 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 very powerful people and have done a, a great deal of work alongside other women. A broad process, the church has to do far more in uh, empowerment and education of women. And um, that means also um, allowing uh, women among themselves uh, to uh, find their own ways of living in solidarity with each other. The Christian message isn't a message of condemnation. Uh, it's a message about life and about people living life to the full.